I'm Shannon Farnsworth from Blue Startups, and we are looking forward to working with all of our entrepreneurs from around the globe and from Hawaii. Get out of the building and get into the blue. Yeah. So there's a total of four in our team, mm -hmm. and um, some are part time, some are full time. I'm full time, and uh, Melly James is full time, and uh, Ray Chung and Maya Rogers are both part time. And then we have a small army of interns. I think we're up to like five interns <laughs> and, and growing, mm -hmm. uh, and various other many many volunteers, including all our mentors. And, Hank and his staff here and that are helping. So the way the program works is the state is providing $500,000 into the fund and we're matching that with private investor money. So we are raising that capital right now. Yeah. And Hank is providing us with some capital and also with in-kind space and administrative support that we get here. But we have seven lead mentors for the program okay. and Hank is one of them. So they'll be assigned like the other leads to a company and he'll meet with them every week and give them direction. And we have a total group of about 50 mentors and they are from all over. From the, we have some from Asian countries, some from the US, and some from Hawaii. The lead mentors are all, for the most part, here, or they're here frequently enough to, to be leads. Um, and they have a variety of backgrounds, either you know, entrepreneurship or investing uh, types of backgrounds. So there's seven leads and then the broader network, which is really just there kind of on an ad needed basis and also to come in and talk to our cohorts about certain topics. So they're experts at certain topics or they have certain resources that they can bring in as far as being available to the cohort. Yes, as you may or may not know, uh, I'm CEO and co-founder of Box Jelly. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do a lot of uh, co-organizing of events. Um, I think I envision the Box Jelly being somewhat of a feeder school to Blue Startups and uh, running educational programs for people who may not be ready quite for Blue Startups yet, but are interested in forming teams and building companies and possibly entering into an accelerator uh, in the future. Well, I guess you could think of White Angels as a sister organization to Blue Startups. So, uh, obviously, I'm involved in both organizations, so there's a lot of overlap there, and uh, we hope to utilize that network to pitch our companies to and cohort. So, uh, you know, having a good relationship with a network of investors here is a bonus for our, our companies. Is there any conflicts? Are there any conflicts of interest going on between the two companies? Because you are involved in both, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there's no conflict. I mean, there's, you know, a differentiation, right? So Hawaii Angels invest really only in companies that are post-revenue and quite significantly far along in their development, whereas Blue Startups is designed basically to be a seed investor. So um, again, like Box Jelly, you can think of Blue Startups as a feeder school to Hawaii Angels. So other resources uh, besides the cash itself. Mm -hmm. So the I guess the main purpose of people uh, entering Accelerator, the cash is basically just a way for to free up time, right? So instead of working a job and working on your startup, you can focus on your startup. So really where we add value is our mentor network. Um, again, 50 plus mentors, seven, seven lead mentors, most of the lead mentors have went through an entire cycle, built companies, sold companies, done all of that. Um, on top of that, we have uh, technical experts, we have people in law, we have accountants. So it's kind of like bringing, bringing all the different pieces you need of the puzzle together in one place. Also throughout the program, what we do is we help to um, make connections with investors. So you'll be meeting investors throughout the program and at the end of the program, it culminates in a demo day, right? So this demo day is a chance for you to showcase what you've built uh, with your team uh, throughout the program to people both from here as well as on the mainland and Asia. So bringing all those pieces of the puzzle together. Something that we have also is uh, another program that doesn't really exist in any other accelerator I've seen, which is the 13 week capstone. And uh, we're partnered with a company called Nest GSV, which is similar to a plug and play in, in the Valley. And basically what we do is we take them out 
for a 13th week. So they have an opportunity to either A, uh, meet a bunch of investors, B, uh, get a feel for the ecosystem out here, or C, create partnerships that can further business uh, out there. So the other piece just to add to that is that we're a part of the Global Accelerator Network, and that comes with a host of in-kind perks. So each company here can access a total of up to $100,000 worth of services that are in-kind provided through that network. So um, an example of some of the applications we've gotten already. We've gotten a lot of applications from obviously Hawaii, and that was kind of the first wave of applications we got. So predominantly Hawaii. And then this kind of second wave has been really much more international and national. So a lot of teams and that's ideal for us. We really want to have a mix. So we're hoping the first cohort is about 50-50. But the trends that we're seeing in the applications are um, obviously a lot of internet plays, you know, creation of efficiency where there hasn't been efficiency. So uh, we've had some applications, for example, for uh, bringing cattle auctions online, you know, things you, you were, wouldn't think of normally. Um, new email systems, productivity tools, um, new dating sites. Travel. Uh, travel, productivity, and gaming companies. Um, but by and large, all kind of in that realm of the uh, internet-based companies. A lot of the ones that didn't really fit those. Um, the things we are looking for are amusement <laughs> parks. We had an amusement park fly. Um, that's not really our forte. Restaurants. Restaurants. So for us, we're looking for things that can be big, right? Big plays. And um, small ideas, although they're, they have their space, uh, Blue Stars is not really the best place for them to be. So what are some final advices would you give to entrepreneurs who are considering to apply? Some advice for entrepreneurs who are considering applying. Well, the first advice is just apply. We get a lot of questions from entrepreneurs who are kind of angsting about this decision, not really understanding the angst. So just apply. You don't have to come, even if we want you to come. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, I guess the second piece of advice would be give us as much information as possible. Um, some entrepreneurs don't bother to fill out the whole form, for example. That's, that's kind of that's kind of weak. You know, at least give us as much as we can get, so we can take a good look at the, at the company. Think, think big. Yeah. Again, we're looking for like kind of big plays, so think big. Um, think about how you're gonna make money. <laughs> think about how you're gonna market. <laughs> yeah, how you're gonna market the product. You know, just basic business. If you fill out a business model canvas, you should be good to go. Yeah. But really, just think through it, because a lot of times people have enthusiasm, but they aren't really thinking it through all the way, and that's. Although it's good, you know, it could be better. And also, surround yourself with good people. How are we going to generate high-quality startups? Um, one thing is we're hoping to select high-quality startups. It's not all on us, right? This is, this is a partnership. So we're, we're hoping to help what we consider to be already existing high-quality startups. And um, secondly, by connecting. So what we've you know, learned over the years is that it takes a lot more than money to progress as a startup company. And the thing that it takes most is network. And that's what we're helping to jumpstart with these companies. We're getting them networked up with whomever on the planet is going to be strategically important for them to move their company forward. So what would you say is Blue Stuff's unique quality that makes it stand out from the rest? I think, Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is our unique quality? Um, I think we have several unique qualities. One is this access to Asia markets, and a lot of the applicants that we see from outside the state are interested in coming to this program because of that proximity, both culturally and physically, to the Asian markets, yet still being in the U.S. Um, you know, the other, the other obvious one is lifestyle, and it's been interesting conversations with a lot of the applicants of how they value that, and you know, we think it's something that, of course, is is, you know, you can't uh, substitute for it. We so, have all this beauty around us. So do you guys think that um, Hawaii will be the next hub for startups? Coming from Asia, especially? The five hub. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I think 
Hawaii, Hawaii is going to have its place, right? Um, I feel that, and I think pretty much everybody feels that Hawaii is an amazing place to live, right? And what we do is we're making it an amazing place to work as well. We already attract the best talent in the world. Uh, they come here, but they don't necessarily engage in business here. And I think that as we continue to build our ecosystem and have good companies coming out, great companies coming out, um, they'll naturally do that. Okay, so what do you expect to have when you're done with me? Awesome teams. <laughs> <laughs> What do we expect to have on our demo day? Um, yes, very well prepared teams that have uh, their pitches together. But more importantly, uh, investors, obviously. And we do have some commitments from uh, investors and we'll get more. You know, another advantage to being here, it's really not hard to twist the arm and say, you know, can you get on a plane and come to Hawaii on this date to, to check out some companies? Oh, okay, if I have to. So it's a very different kind of proposition than some of our colleagues who are, you know, trying to do accelerators in Wichita, Kansas. But I think there's a challenge there of getting people to want to go that we don't have. And also, it's going to be the building of an alumni network as well. So after our first demo day, you know, we'll have like this network of people who have been through this program. After our second demo day, it will grow, and you know, three years from now, you know, we'll have have something a little bit more substantial and uh, hopefully that translates into startups uh, with high, higher, way higher chances of success. <laughs>